Hey crew, Mark Hatmaker here. We're talking about ESP roll number 162. Yeah, I got some duct tape on here. This is about, I want to say six to seven, maybe eight yards of duct tape on there. We're going to get that in a minute. And this roll, it's a threefer. We're going to have, uh, we're going to uh, talk about uh, the old school pivot punch and duelist jab. We're going to, uh, we're going to, whew, well, it's mean stuff, guys. We're going to do uh, the proper way to set it up and then fire this thing off four different ways and do it. We'll cover both with the duelist jab, the pivot punch, which will pole axe if you want to get this thing down. Uh, everyone this month, if you buy the uh, ESP Raw 162, we're going to give you a free chapter from our upcoming book on historical boxing, which includes a lot of the background, uh, the historical origins of the uh, pivot punch. Really, really wild stuff. We'll also be working on the uh, clutch uh, uh, knee tap. It's one of the easiest takedowns to be done from the over-under clinch, and it should be used more often. It often isn't because there's a tendency to leave the limb behind. We're going to show you a four-step process, including something called the bite. To make sure that limb goes with you. Obviously, we'll run it through a submission chain. And we'll also be talking about some duct tape escapes. Now, I know about five different ways, uh, most of you probably do too, about five different ways to bust through some duct tape. And most of them work pretty good to some degree. There's only one of them, though, that works uh, so far 100% of the time with a whole roll of duct tape test. And this is not a whole roll right now because I'm running out of duct tape all the time. But you're going to see a lot of it has to do, obviously, with the fling and the split uh, and such. I'm going to show you one of these from the standing position here. There's one tiny detail I'm going to leave out right now because we're going to put that on the roll because the standing version is easy, but if you leave this detail out whenever you take it, whenever you're bound to a chair or in a, ground, in a grounded position lying on your back tucked in the corner, if you try and do just these flings and splits, it ain't going to work for you. So there's a small detail and see if you catch it. Whenever we are taking it overhead, there might even be a little bit of a jump like if you're doing a jump snatch or a jump power to pull everything through. It's a piece of cake to make this work. But the difference is there's something extra going on there. When we take it to the chair, when we take it to the grounded position, if you don't put that extra piece in there, it ain't going to work. We get that extra piece in there, every single time it'll split. And we're really excited about this raw because with the boxing, the wrestling, and obviously with these duct tape escapes, that's the most painful part right there, gripping out on the arm here. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy it. Look forward to you guys taking a look at 162.